The term proofreading is used in genetics to refer to the error correcting processes, first proposed by John Hopfield and Jacques Ninio, involved in DNA replication, immune system specificity, enzyme substrate recognition, among many other processes that require enhanced specificity. The proofreading mechanisms of Hopfield and Ninio are non equilibrium active processes that consume ATP to enhance specificity of various biochemical reactions. In bacteria, all three DNA polymerases I, two and three, have the ability to proofread, using 3 feet 5 feet exonuclease activity. When an incorrect base pair is recognized, DNA polymerase reverses its direction by one base pair of DNA and excises the mismatched base. Following base excision, the polymerase can reinsert the correct base and replication can continue. In eukaryotes only the polymerases that deal with the elongation delta and epsilon have proofreading ability 3 feet 5 feet exonuclease activity proofreading also occurs in mRNA translation for protein synthesis in this case, one mechanism is release of any incorrect aminoacyl tRNA before peptide bond formation. The extent of proofreading in DNA replication determines the mutation rate, and is different in different species. For example, loss of proofreading due to mutations in the DNA polymerase epsilon gene results in a hypermutated genotype with greater than 100 mutations per M base of DNA in human colorectal cancers. The extent of proofreading in other molecular processes can depend on the effective population size of the species and the number of genes affected by the same proofreading mechanism. <laughs> 